John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. For in the thing wherein they dealt proudly he was above them. Exodus 18:11. Commentary Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. He knew the Lord before, and that he was the only true God, and greater than all that were so called, but now he had a fresh instance of it, a clear proof and demonstration of it, and so more plainly and fully knew it, and was assured of it, that he was greater than all the idols of the Gentiles, and particularly than the gods of the Egyptians, since he had saved his people Israel out of their hands, and when they could not protect and defend the Egyptians neither from plagues nor from destruction, nay, could not secure themselves, being all destroyed by the mighty Jehovah, see Exodus 12 12, as also that he is greater than all that are called gods, kings, princes, and civil magistrates, than Pharaoh and all his nobles, generals, and captains, who were destroyed by him. For in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them, the idol gods, the gods of the Egyptians, the evil demons, Satan, and his principalities, who influenced them, presuming and boasting by their magicians what they could do, but in those things Jehovah in the wonders he wrought appeared to be above them, they were overcome by him, and obliged to acknowledge the finger of God, and this sense stands best connected with the preceding clause. Or else in those things, in which the Egyptians dealt proudly with the Israelites, pursuing after them in the pride and vanity of their minds, and giving out that they should overtake them and divide the spoil, and satisfy their lust upon them, when God blew with his wind upon them, the sea covered them, and they sunk as lead in the mighty waters, see Exodus 15 9-11, and to the drowning of the Egyptians in the Red Sea, the Jews commonly apply this. Thus the Targum of Jonathan. Wherein the Egyptians dealt wickedly in judging Israel, by the waters, judgment returned upon them that they might be judged by the waters. And to the same sense Jarke. They suppose here was a just retaliation, that as the Egyptians drowned the Hebrew infants in the waters of the Nile, they were in righteous judgment drowned in the Red Sea, this is the very thing, or is the same way they in their pride and malice dealt with the people of Israel, God dealt with them, and showed himself to be both against them, as it may be rendered, and above them, 